Welcome to Junkin. If you like what I craft, be sure to subscribe to my channel for access to my imagination. Nicole at Junkin Door Couture and more, where we don't do normal. And of course, as always, if you like what you see, be sure to subscribe to my page or hit, um, you know, follow, like, share, uh, all that, all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I want to try and attempt a, a weaved basket. And I ain't gonna lie, I went through my house looking for something that was cylinder shape. I didn't want it to be like trapezoid shape. I went and I dumped out my oatmeal and I put it into a Ziploc bag so I could have a canister that was the right size. So this is ribbon that I have, um, I actually got it from the thrift store. It was $2, woohoo! And um, it's wired, but I don't need the wired part of it. And the only thing I'm gonna do is sit here right now and just cut around um, pieces to go around this way on it. And I'm gonna cut it a little bigger than I need just so we have a little wiggle room. And I'm just gonna keep making, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna try and guesstimate how many we're gonna need. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm gonna guess six that way. And then we're going to do some vertically. And we're gonna try and, and weave. And I don't know if it's gonna fit or not, I'm hoping if, if it doesn't fit, we'll put that part that's ugly in the back, you know, we'll make it work. <laughs> you know how we roll. But I'm trying to find things that we can all do and use together. So if you don't have the ribbon, you can absolutely cut strips of paper and do the same type of theory. Because um, what we're going to do is once we put it on there, um, have you ever made a lattice pie? We're going to kind of do that theory. And I'm thinking it's going to give us that weave look. And I probably should have covered it or put it in um, burlap or something first but uh, so I got four and you see how like exa uh, exact I'm being with this Psh, say all right last one so right now I'm just cutting the pieces to go around and I'm gonna lay them there and now let's see how many we need started here we're gonna need one uh, let's see one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're gonna guess what ten with that one. So let's see. And I'm gonna go a little bit bigger. And then I'm just gonna go back and forth. Let's see if we can make this faster. So I got my glue gun. I'm going to put it into the inside rim just a little bit. I'm going to skip one. I'm going to just fold it in, but I'm not gluing it yet. I don't need this. And you know what? Let's put a clip on it so it don't fall. <gasps> okay, let's see. So what I'm doing now is every other one I'm gluing down and one I'm holding in place. And the reason why I'm not gluing the other one is because those need to be able to move for the in and out feature. This one that I have glued down here, I'm going to start here and we're going to do over under. So I'm just going to glue it to this piece here just to hide the mechanical part of it. Oh, I don't want to put that down yet. I don't want that to set to the hot glue until I get around because I don't know where it's going to set. So I'm going to say that this is under. over. So now I got to hot glue this one down. I think I started it on the wrong one, but it's all right. We'll get it. We'll get through this. I'm going to go under, over, under, Gonna come up, glue this one down now. 
the first and the last ones were going to be the hardest just because that's where you got to like set it up and finish it. But then after this one, it shouldn't be so difficult. Let me see what I can do. We lost one along the way. Good thing I had extra, huh? Oh, that's the one that I put the glue on that I shouldn't have. I remember now. I remember. Ah, uh, okay. So I am going to change this right here. I don't like how it's ending. So we are gonna make this look like a weave here. So that's gonna go over. This is gonna go under. I'm trying to hide it as best as I can here. And I think by doing it this way, my seams will be hidden. Over, over, I gotta trim it. That's all there is to this. Well, let me glue it first, and then I can trim. Because i got to trim off a little piece of this, too, just to make it go. Got to trim it all the way down. I have one extra long piece, so I'm just going to trim it. Nice attempt to. So glad you guys couldn't see my face on that because I totally had my my tongue sticking out. <laughs> Anyone else do that? Um, as I, I was cutting, I'm doing. Oh, why? So you can see that first round that we got going around, and now I'm just going to continue that the next one. So let me find my short piece because that's where we're going to start at.
Is it wrong that I'm just going to finish it off? Because it's not worth cutting that extra little piece off. And I think I'll be able to hide all of this with this stuff. So that's what we're going to do. Yeah, see, this is perfect. We didn't need to add that extra piece down at the bottom because we're getting a nice finished look. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Like Dr. Spock or something. One word at a time. <laughs> myself up. <laughs> All new appreciation for basket makers, let me tell you. So now we have our weaved basket look, right? It does look like a weaved basket. I'm okay with that. We'd never know that was an oatmeal container. And then... I'm getting some Spanish moss to put in there, too. I only have a little bit of that color left. A ribbon. Oh. And you don't even see it. Using, you know, trying to use stuff we have in our home. But I do think that came out super cute. I sure do hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and TikTok to see all of my latest crafting shenanigans.